What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini, my lovely Gemini's, and my beautiful angel collective. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Sending love, light, and healing energy to each and every one of you. Yes, I am. Keep in mind, y'all, this is a general message. It will not resonate with somebody, nobody, we don't know, okay? But just take what fits for you. If it should happen to resonate, if it doesn't, please don't force it, okay? Um, Thank you for all your love, your likes, your subscribes, everything that you do, your re booked readings, donations, like everything, Gemini, and I'm sending the love right back to you. So, choir, come, come, because I feel new in this energy. Yay! Okay, one, two, three, oh! T-girl, tarot, magic, and collective. T-girl, 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 magic, and collective. T-girl, tarot, magic, and collective. Could check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Gemini, hi, bye, cross watcher. Okay, it's so crisp out here. You know what? I just I like to do these readings outside now because I get hella downloads. The air is crisp and clear, and to get that fresh morning air while everybody else is still sleeping low key, I like that. Okay, um, but we have new love, this newness going on right now. It could be happening in the fall. It doesn't have to be. It could happen at any time. Remember, time is fluid, so we can be talking about the past, the present or the future of things to come, okay? But there is a king of wands in your energy who you struck his heart or something like that. And because some of you have given up on love, oh, baby, don't give up on love. And yeah, oh no, Spirit say this one. Okay, so I'm getting two energies. You have a king of wands in your energy that you don't know that wants to give you an ace and they want to marry you. So there's somebody in your energy that has been peeping you out for quite some time. That you don't know, but have faith that love is coming. Love is coming, a surprise, invitation, or meeting, or hesitation. So you could be getting invited to some type of party is when you'll meet this person. And as soon as he sees you or you see them, it's going to be love at first sight. Like you're going to get struck by Cupid's arrow. And yes, this is a soulmate connection, okay? I'm also getting that there is a king of wands in your energy from your past. And we don't want past energy, but I got to tell you what it is. This king of wands is in the, in the in the nine of swords. They have anxiety and everything because you don't cut them out or they're stressed out over a court situation. That's going to leave them with very little money, okay? And so now they're trying to strategize. I don't want to hear it. Tell me about the new one, Spirit, please. The new, new, the new, new. Oh, this person don't want your new, new to get here. They trying to fly away the cards and ain't no wind over here. What is this? Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, shit, honey, they, they trying to bug you. They're trying to distract you. Somebody's trying to be a distraction. Some are either they're trying to distract this new love from coming to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. These cars, you see how these cars are wavering? Somebody either is trying to, I don't know, somebody, there's somebody that's times a ticket and they scared. Okay? Oh, my God. Okay, let's get, mm-mm. Yeah, no. You're running away from this codependent person. This person ran away from you because they have a fear of intimacy because they were listening to their ego. This is this king of wands that's stressed out and having anxiety, okay? And they're confused and they're scared or they're trying to figure out something. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the new, new love, honey, okay? Because this man feels like he's running out of time and they need to chase after you before this new soulmate gets here. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, spirit, hold on. They say, no, you hold on. <laughs> okay, Spirit. Okay, because we always trying to tell Spirit what we don't want to do when Spirit runs the show. Spirit, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. And then Spirit still talks about it anyway. So who's, who's, who's what? You can't run from Spirit? Can't hide love, yes. What's that song that came to my mind? You, you want my love and you can't deny. Okay, so somebody wanted your love or they think you want their love something something but you're trying to hide Ooh, you turn down love like it's really bad 
Okay, so whoever this king of wands is, this is why they're scared. They're nervous and scared and they feel like they ran out of time because this is your twin flame, okay? It is a twin flame, but I wanna say, it is, because um, this person might think that you guys are soulmates or maybe they don't know about the twin flame journey, but they know that this is a deeper connection, okay? Because they can't get you out of their mind or their heart or something like that. And they know they wasted a lot of time by running away from you. And now we have this new fine king of, king of wands coming through in your energy. And now they're like, oh my God, but something with a girl with a snake and a cup of coffee, honey. Ooh, karmic relationship. Yeah, this is a karmic relationship, baby. So whoever this king of wands is, they done, they done. They could be the snake or they got charmed uh, by a girl. A girl, what is it? The girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. So your person, the reason they ran from you, because they run from everything, because they like to keep their options open, and they hooked up with some type of girl with a snake, okay? They went and met her at a cup of, they met her at a um, coffee shop. It could be Starbucks. It could be any coffee shop. Yum, yum, donuts, Lord, have mercy. So they went on the cheap route. They didn't go to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Some of them went to Starbucks, okay? But they met at a coffee shop. And this person was, okay, so it could have been a friend, that you were close to, male or female, it doesn't matter. They hooked up with your person, but whoever this girl with the snake was, she was a, a karmic twin flame. It was a karmic relationship. This, this girl with the snake, your friend, was wearing a mask, okay? The Bia was wearing a mask. Kissing all on your mask. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, they stabbed your ass in the back, okay, by trying to get your person child oh lord have mercy and now what had happened spirit that shit's over <laughs> that shit's over so they 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 took a risk a risk that with the stakes were too high and now that relationship is over now this person wants to run back to you but you like bitch no you stay your ass where you're at because time is ran out okay yeah okay what else holy spirit tell, tell us tell us what's going on let me see this let me see this yeah, you went down another pathway, baby. Or your past went down another pathway. Being in the King of Wands energy, holding his holding his private parts and stuff. Between his hand between his legs and things, looking at that wand that is on, on fire. So maybe the girl with the snake. It's a possibility that they burnt and crunched and clapped their ass. Low key, high key, high key, low. Okay. Yeah, that's the truth, Spirit said. That's the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Ooh, honey, so you definitely don't want to get back with this person after they was with that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, honey, they didn't get no money like they thought they was going to get. What is going on? The unexpected income in reverse? Because they're juggling. So maybe, I don't know, somebody's financially imbalanced right now. It could be this person, this king of wands energy. Yeah, there's too many money cards or I'm broke and I need my hand. I got my hand out for, for money and I'm juggling my finances right now. And this person, oh my God. So somebody got a male that sleeps around for money, homosexual, a place to stay and a bite to eat. He's really fine, comes off like he knows what he's doing. He okay, could have some skinny legs or like the color blue or purple or orange could have some significance to something. But um, this person puts you in conflict. And now, oh, honey. I'm also getting, because I did pick up the new love. You have a king of pentacles energy. Maybe this person's doing mirror magic and they're looking into the mirror to see what you got going on for yourself. You know what, block this person off energetically. I'm sure you guys have, but use your words of power deny their access into your energy you have to speak that and vibrate that out into the universe okay and block them from trying to travel or look or see what the fuck you got going on because you do have a soulmate that's coming in your energy you have this is a, this is look this is a soul contract from the ethers it is a soul connection an agreement a soul contract okay and you might be meeting this man or this lady at the coffee shop okay for sure but whoever this energy is, this king of wands that's holding a thing, they were very abusive and manipulative with their energy, and they're trying to inter manipulate. Okay, so you got two people. I'm always getting these two people, or maybe three. 
There's a king of pentacles that's coming into your energy that you might meet at a coffee shop. That's the one, your soulmate. Whoever the old energy is trying to send energy projections to maybe, um, they're trying to do some mirror work with your king of pentacles energy, the new person that you haven't met because this is your counterpart, I promise you. This is your counterpart, this, your king of pentacles. Okay, this is going to be the love of your life. When you meet them, they're going to give you that equal give and take that you've been wanting to receive. It's going to be a six of pentacles. But whoever is doing mirror magic to confuse your new person, because they're trying to do mind games. See, your mind is too strong. So they don't know that your king of pentacles had mind is strong too. Whoever the, the new person is that you haven't met, or maybe you met them. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it has taken place. Maybe it hasn't. But they don't have shit on your motherfucking person, okay? Their magic's possibly not strong enough for this King of Pentacles because King of Pentacles is solid. Let me tell you, because the King of Wands know magic too. He is the King of the Wand, of the magic, okay? And he doesn't, he is not using it for good either, okay? He's not using the magic for good. He's using the magic to cause conflict and chaos. And also, He's angry that, he's angry with this girl with the snake. So now, because he feels like that person is the cause of them running away from you. And so now they're doing magic on this whoever girl with the snake is, causing conflict and chaos in their life. Yes, yeah, supposed to be a, a water sign. Yeah, because this person feels that they stole you from them not like they're, whatever they did they this one night stand this marriage they stole you from them but whoever this other girl with the snake was cancer pisces or scorpio they were already married in a relationship bitch what and he like oh my god did i just so we got an angry angry um king of wands energy who's not doing well they uh, child i don't know they not doing well they possibly are burning they don't have to be but something happened where to now this, this, this person's angry and wants to retaliate on everybody. Everybody. Okay? Because they were like, I was supposed to marry my empress. You came in between my empress. But ma sir or ma'am, you can't be mad at the girl with the snake. Your ass was the snake. You went and took the snake. Okay? Were you charmed by it? Like, now they're confused. Now they're concerned. Because now they're like, oh my God, my empress, what is going on? I destroyed everything. So now they're in despair trying to be petty. Okay, and they ended it. Yep, and so now they just child ended it with you, and now this is tower, and now they facing some type of black. Showing up as the king of cups, wanting to renew something, but this shit is over. Okay, well anyway, so you got the the old person doing magic projection to the new person in your life that's coming through or is already here to get them to kind of be confused about you. But I'm getting this King of Pentacles. Ain't he ain't confused, honey? He look. He like I know what I want. I know what I want when I want, and all of that. I'm holding on to my boo. So I don't know. This could be in your future already, or they could be coming. But just know that this new person is strong. They're matching your energy. You're showing up as King and Queen of Pentacles. And like I said, you're mirroring each other. Okay. So they possibly gotten gone through the same thing as you. And so if you're doubting this new person or you're in the, in the mind state of like, I don't want this new love or I'm cool or I'm done, knowing it's one of their lovers who they've been with that is trying to get in your head to get you to fall away from love. That way you don't be with this King of Pentacles energy, okay? So you got karmic energies all floating all around through here, baby, okay? There's somebody going through a divorce right now. Maybe this King, oh. And I'm also getting the King of Wands, your ex-lover right now, the one that you broke up with that you don't want back. He got into a marriage that ended up giving him something, or he got into some lover, or he got married, and that shit did not go like he thought it was going to go. Yes. Mm, because they got with a traveling hoe. So I'm what I'm saying. All these hoes getting with hoes. You know, like attracts like energy. I'm just saying, uh, like attract likes energy. Yeah, and you don't want this shit no more. So they're defeated. That's why they feel dumb. But their magic isn't working. So you got new new. Tell us about the new new, boo boo. Spirit, tell us about the new new. The new new is confident. Okay, I don't know if you met him or not, like I said. Ooh, honey, look. This new boo is wealthy, great fortune. That's your soulmate. That's the one. He gonna put in the hard work. Oh, he's a hard worker. Are you work hard? Are you going to meet him at work for some of y'all? 
Yes, honey. When you meet, oh, so some of y'all, they already see you, okay? And um, they see a great fortune with you, like they can build with you, because okay? you struck their heart or something like that. And they feel like nothing's been more right than the time to come out and run and chase after you to be the lover. Child, you got a new person, honey. They trying to come and get, get you. Okay, so be receptive and open to it. Just be open, okay? If you're not, that means you need to heal. So this is probably not your story. And it's okay to go for it not to be. You still need to heal, and that's okay. But you do. Some of y'all got a new, new energy in here who's very wealthy. I heard extremely wealthy. Damn, Gina, they could be in the spotlight. They could be an entertainer. Don't have to be. But they are a magical manifester, and they see great fortune with you. Okay? And it's going to catch you off surprise. Yes. What else, Spirit? Look, it's going to what When they reach out to you, so you might get a message that's going to change your life. Okay? It's going to offer stability as well. And this is a good thing. This is a good change. And also, whoever this King of Wands is, he's been scrabbling and scrying in the mirrors and shit like that. And he got a message that you about to get booed up. <laughs> Exactly. He got a message that you got to get booed up. Compliments of God. The judgment. So judgment is going in your favor, baby. Um, and this man is very upset about it. So he's trying to send magic out. Okay. To stop this. But what God put together, let no man tear asunder. And that's what they seem to f forget to fail to realize. And this is making this person have bad health. Or maybe they are already in bad health when they got with this girl with the snake. That put them in competition because they was already married. I've been getting that energy. Like, these karmics are retarded. Like, your person didn't have the balls and the galls enough to, to like, I don't think they're smart. They were just going by wand. They were being led by wand. Being narcissistic and self-absorbed. Being one-sided. Okay, that's what they were being all about self. And they possibly have contracted a gift. Or they want to give you a gift. This privileged lady because they want to stop this new person from coming into your energy but I feel like that's impossible yeah J look J you already know this you already know the secrets you already know what's un un unseen you already know this baby in the background you know somebody that had a baby outside on you yes you do I seen the baby over here they, they mad about that baby child what is going on and then you might get a message of this king of wands because of their their, their, their street-like ways and they like to put their wand in everything, they may be facing some type of ending in their life. And you might get message or word of that as well. Quick communication, you might see it on social media, in your DMs. Yes, okay. And that might, and the news, let me just tell you, that's not a good thing. Like, like Not like you're gloating in the King of Wands, you know, burning or anything like that, but it is going to make you, it's going to give you emotional satisfaction. Okay, it is because that's part of karma. You're going to get a message. Some of it's going to concern you, but it is going to be a Ten of Cups energy. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, okay, you know, good. Okay. Mm. Oh, damn, Gina, what is this marriage? <gasps> they got what's that's how they got burnt. Child, you're going to hear all about this. Okay, I'm not trying to make it about your past, but your past is really going through something right now. They mad and looking at the world side-eyed right now because whatever they're mirroring, they have done is caught up to them. They're under judgment right now for whatever magic or whatever they've done. Okay, um, mm. maybe they. Tr I don't know. All I know is it has to do with money and pregnancy and a baby. So either they want to. But that's, I don't see how that, that's going to happen to you unless you're low vibrational. That's the only way they can trap your ass up in a pregnancy, in a marriage, is if you're low vibe and you haven't healed enough yet. And this is an old, older uh, relationship from the past. Okay? And they're angry because misery loves company. They possibly got something that they can't get rid of. I'm just saying. And then you know they want to be with you offering this poisonous ass cup to you. And you like, uh, sir, go somewhere with that. Yeah, my battery might die. I'm sorry. Okay. What else, the Holy Spirit? I cannot. Look, they want to come and fight for this. You got somebody that know you got a, a, a fine-ass King of Wands, King of Pentacles energy 
getting ready to offer you. They don't want you to have this great fortune. You guys are going to be a power couple. Not you and the old lady. You and the new king of pentacles or whoever they are. They could be an earth sign. It could be any sign. You could might. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're going to meet them at a coffee shop. Meeting up, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So you're going to start off as friends. It's not going to be like instant lovers, but there's going to be something that pulls you guys together when you guys meet. It is going to be a soulmate connection with this new person okay and this timing is perfect okay and this person doesn't want you to go run to this king of pentacles because they they feel like they still need to heal but you like bitch you're codependent i can't deal with you and they and they are not they're not loyal they are a narcissist as well they could be like having a lot of fem, feminine they could just be bitch like okay just bitchy but they want to come and court you, I'm sorry, baby, it's to make you the main male or the main female and even marry you. So don't let nobody see. Mm -mm. And this, we can heal this through our marriage. Like, first of all, no. When it starts off wrong, it ends off wrong. You cannot get a chocolate cake making a cornbread from a cornbread recipe. You have to have all the right ingredients and components for a, 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 to a, execute a successful dish. Now, we can't say you didn't tweak it, but for the most part, bitch, you can't get a cornbread from a chocolate cake mixture or batter. And this is what this person wants to do. They want some of your chocolate cake. And you like, bitch, no, I'm eating cornbread because you're corny. <laughs> or, or you're like, I'm eating, or they want to make cornbread, but you're like, no, I'm eating chocolate cake. I don't want any cornbread because your ass is corny or something like that. Yeah. You're balanced, baby. Oh my god okay so somebody they do want to heal they do want a new beginning this is the old energy but i'm telling you what i know this king of wands energy child he is burning and he gotta go down another path the spirit said i'm telling the truth this man need to heal because he got bit by a girl with the snake child and he ran from you to go run into the snake you ever heard that saying like somebody was running like this person was running from the lions and the bears and then they ran into the cave for safety and talking about yeah i made it and then landed their hand on a snake kind of like that so maybe this person thought you were overbearing or something like that they needed to get away from you your friend or whoever this girl with the snake is offering like oh we can heal together i got you or like the person was pillow talking they would talk about you this person would run back have arguments with you and tell all y'all's business to other people either your friend or their friends or somebody that they were dating this, that, that, the, the girl with the snake thought it was their opportunity to come and jump in so they can have a new beginning. But something went wrong somewhere, honey. So I don't know if she got burnt, they got burnt, something. But now these people have to go down another path, okay? Mm, and that's the truth, honey. So anyway, Gemini, I'm getting from this. You got new love. You got somebody trying to go against working in the energy to, for you not to get it. But what I'm, what I'm getting is what's meant for you is for you and let no man tear asunder what God has. Okay, period. Yeah. And this is justice, so ain't nobody going to break this up. Don't be feary. Don't be worried or nothing like that. Go and continue to heal. You could be a star on a platform or whatever the case may be or a healer or a guru or whatever the case may be. So just continue to do what you do. Continue to go within. Continue to use your intuition because you are the high priestess. You already know the secrets, and a lot of y'all know that y'all about to get a brand new beginning and get new and get married because that's what you've been manifesting. Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take. So this is this is the main thing. I don't want to read about, but just let you know, Krusty has got. They're trying to, I don't know, trying to turn back the clock or trying to get. I don't know. It's not working because you're so ready to move forward and go, and God's got this all worked out. So praise God right now, okay. So, Gemini, I'm going to end your reading right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look. Yes. You're about to be somebody's boo. You're about to get married, honey. Yes, that's the truth. And this going to be heavily burdened to this king of the Sagittarius energy. When they find that out, because they know that is a point of no return, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, if you woulda did what you had in the 24 hours of your life to do what you needed to do, then you wouldn't be in regret and remorseful. And I'm talking to a lower vibrational energy. They're mad and sad because you get new, new, and you get great fortune. But this person refused to heal and follow the call. They were too, too lusty. You know what I mean? They want to have all these people and put you in competition because that made them feel like the man because or the woman because I look good. So we don't want nobody that damn shallow, Gemini. Hell no. 
But congratulations, baby. Okay. So, I would, oh, let me get one more card. Romance card. This relationship was worth waiting for. All because you healed childhood woundings and issues. You took some time out for yourself in the hermit mode. You started loving on yourself. And that's what made you free. That's what made you free. Okay? This magical little unicorn you. That's when you called in your soulmate. I'm telling you, God was like, good job. He just needed you to put in the work to show him that. Because he didn't want you to repeat another cycle of this bullshit. So God will test you to make sure that you know. It's not for him. It's for you to know who you are. Okay, baby? So I'm going to end your reading right there. Love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.